Now to a local 10 investigation. A patient at a South Florida hospital gets the wrong medication, and there's results here proved to be devastating for one local family. It was a drug administered to inmates during most lethal injections, so how did it happen? And where is that nurse today? Local 10's Jeff Weinseer has the details. Did North Shore Medical Center kill your father? Absolutely. 79-year-old Richard Smith was admitted to the ICU at North Shore Medical Center. Observation, the complaint, shortness of breath. Smith told doctors he had an upset stomach. So Pepsid, an over-the-counter antacid, was ordered by a doctor. But what happened next haunts the Smith family every day. It was un unbelievable then. And it still is. This is beyond a mistake. Instead of giving Smith Pepsid for his stomach, a nurse in the ICU grabbed a vial of pancuronium out of a locked drug cart, injected it into Smith's IV tube, and apparently left. Pancuronium is used in the ICU when intubating patients. Larger doses are given to inmates being put to death. The drug apparently took over Smith's body. You basically would not lose consciousness. You would have recall, you'd be able to hear, but you'd be virtually paralyzed and unable to move. With sufficient dosing, you also would not be able to breathe. Records show 30 minutes went by before Smith was found unresponsive. His heart had stopped. Mark Smith arrived at the hospital and was confronted by a doctor. He basically said that, uh, I'm sorry to have to tell you this, but the nurse administered the wrong medication. I said, well, how could that happen? You know, didn't he read it? And he said, the nurse said that um, the packaging looked the same. It's one thing to make a mistake. It's another thing to make the mistake and then turn your back and walk away from it and leave this man unattended for 30 minutes and come back and find him cold and blue. Smith was resuscitated but never recovered and died weeks later. A state investigation revealed the nurse on duty failed to read the label, failed to scan the medication and a patient ID bracelet which would have alerted to a mistake before it even happened and failed to follow safeguards on this drug dispensing cart to prevent these types of incidents. North Shore Medical Center was cited by the state. No one at the hospital would go on camera. But in a statement to local tennis, spokesperson said, quote, our hearts go out to the Smith family for their loss. This was a tragic event that was immediately self-reported to the Agency for Healthcare Administration. We conducted an internal review and have several new processes in place to ensure a situation like this doesn't happen again. Would you be surprised if that nurse was still working at the hospital today? <laughs> I'd be more than surprised. I would be upset. We found that nurse, Uvo Olagbaride, leaving North Shore Medical Center where he still works in the ICU. Sir, did you not read the label? It's simply reading the label. Did you not read the label? This nurse slapped with a $2,800 fine, a reprimand, and had to attend remediation courses. Sir, why did it take you so long to find him? Mr. Logbride, why don't you talk to us? The hospital says this nurse has been, quote, appropriately counseled and retrained. Lula Smith and her husband were married for 55 years. This house, once filled with energy, is suddenly quiet. It's real quiet. It's very quiet without my dad here. They took uh, the patriarch of our family away. The Smith family has now filed a lawsuit. North Shore Medical Center has removed all pancuronium from the nursing areas except for the operating room. A new packaging system was also set up in the hospital. The vial will now be placed in a sealed plastic bag with a clear warning on the outside. Jeff Weinseer, Local 10. And the lawsuit specifically names Tenant Health Systems, which owns North Shore Medical Center and the pharmacist on duty for placing the two drugs so close to each other in the drug cart. A separate suit against the nurse will also be filed. Well, the Occupy